All right, welcome everyone. If you're tuning in, we're filming a hot 60 minute practice here at our studio. We have the lovely Krista and Brianna joining us exactly measured out six feet apart. All right, so let's get started. We're going to begin with Pranayama breathing. Deep breathing, good for the lungs and respiratory system. So standing up nice and tall, feet together, heel and toe touching. Interlace your fingers, all ten fingers. Glue the knuckles under your chin. Keeping the body weight on the heels, soften your shoulders, soften your face, clear your mind, set an intention for your practice. With your eyes open, let's begin. Inhale through the nose, bring the elbows up towards the ceiling as high as possible. Suck it in, tightening up, hold it here at the top, and exhale. You change the top down, the head goes back. Palms come together, elbows touch away from the chest, and to your lungs completely. Inhale, the nose, again, chin comes down, relaxing the shoulders, elbows up, keep inhaling even more. Exhale, hot, powerful, cleansing, H-A, ha sound, palms come together, elbows touch. Inhale, chin down, elbows up for what? Two, three, four, five, six, full lungs, exhale. Exhale, head back for one, two, three, four, five, six. And to your line. Inhale, chin down, so really suck it in, tightening up, rib cage visible, keep inhaling even more. Exhale, ha, keeping the weight in the heel, keeping the chest lifted, no backward bending, palms come together, elbows touch. Inhale, chin down, elbows up for one, two, three, four, five, six, full lungs, exhale, head back, one, two, three, four, five, six, and to your lungs, inhale, chin down, now each breath stronger than your last, so keep inhaling more, and more, and more, and exhale, hit the back, way, way, way back, exhale on the scale, use air out of your lungs, palms come together, Elbows touch, inhale, chin down, so again, relaxing the shoulders, elbows up, keep inhaling even more, exhale, ha, beautiful, cleansing, inhale, ha sound, palms come together, elbows touch, inhale, chin down, elbows up for one, two, three, four, five, six, full lungs, exhale, head back for one, two, three, Four, five, six, and to your lungs, inhale, chin down, last two. So again, really suck it in, tighten up, keep inhaling even more. Exhale, head goes back, all the way back, empty your lungs completely, preparing for the biggest breath of your day. Lungs are empty, ready? And inhale, chin down, elbows up, longest, strongest breath of your day. So keep inhaling even more. And exhale, head goes back. Beautiful sound. Beautiful start. Palms come together. Elbow touch. Empty your lungs completely at the end. And that's enough. Arms by your side. Nod your head. Get the nose. Next is half moon with hands and feet. So keeping your feet together. Heels and toes touching. Inhale as you raise your arms up over your head sideways. Taking Shiva grip. Interlacing the fingers. Releasing the index fingers. Thumbs crossed. Palms squeeze, elbows lock, lift your chin, weight in the heels, hips fit forwards, upper body moving back. Now stretch up, touch the ceiling, bend the body right to left, several times, waking up, warming up both sides of your body. Now each time that you come into the middle, 12 o'clock position, you want to stretch, lengthen, reach up towards the ceiling, and then over. So stretch up, get tall, and gently bow side to side. When you can't stretch anymore, please stop in the middle. Getting that set up again, body weight in the heels, hips forward. So tilt the pelvis forward, tuck the tailbone under, upper body leaning back, biceps to the ears, elbows lock, palms squeeze tight, no gap between your hands. Holding this, inhale, stretch up, touch the ceiling, bend the body towards the right, sway your hips towards the left, be on your flexibility. 
You're trying to create a tremendous stretch and feeling all over the entire left hand side of the body, inside out, all skin, fingertips, the toes. So squeezing your palms tight, no gap between your hands. Lift your chin so your throat is visible in the front here. Soften your face, keep breathing. Bodily in the heels, bring the left hip slightly forward, two hips in one line, and bring your right shoulder forward, two shoulders in one line. Lock up the elbows and bring the arms up with the ears, opening up the chest. Now lengthen from the core, hips out more. Now push, and push, and push. Inhale, they come back up, stop in the center. Stretch up, full lung, touch the ceiling, bend the body towards the left, sway your hips towards the right, beyond your flexibility. Once again, you're trying to create that tremendous stretching feeling all over the entire right hand side of the body now. Inside out, both the skin all the way from the fingertips to the toes. So squeeze in your palms tight, no gap between your hands. Lift your chin, see your throat, soften your face, little smile. Weight in the heels, bring the right hip forward, two hips in one line, and keep bending that left shoulder forward, two shoulders in one line. Lock up the elbows and bring the arms back with the ears, opening up the chest. Now lengthen from the core, hips out more. Now push. And push. And push. Inhale, then come back up. Now first back bend. Weight in the heels. Gently your head starts to go back. Now look up, stretch up, touch the ceiling. Arms back with your ears. So keeping the weight in the heels, send your hips forward. So lower back, middle back, upper back, total spine backward bending. Keeping the weight in the heels, keep squeezing your glutes, pressing your hips further forward. Lift the back of your heart up. Now with your fingertips, trace that line all the way across the ceiling towards the back wall as you look back. Lean back, fall back, wave back, go back, more back. Inhale, we're going to come back up. Suck the belly in and exhale, fold forward. Hinge around the hips. Soft bend the knees if you need it. Drop your head. Move it out. Shake it out. Nod your head. Yes and no. Just move your body right now in a way that feels good and natural to you. Be the first you turn here from back bending directly into forward fold. Now when you're ready, bend your knees and scoop up your heels from behind. Stepping on all five fingers each hand. Little baby fingers touching side by side. Thumbs are on the outside. Roll the weight forward into the toes and lift your hips up. So your stomach is on your thighs, chest on the knees, face on the legs below the knees. So relax your head down, everyone. Your head is heavy. Now draw the shoulders up away from the ears, bring more space in your body to hug your elbows even closer together behind the calf muscles. On your inhale, scoop the belly in, lift your hips up higher, exhale, pull the body down deeper. First set, pour it on, pull harder, pull stronger for three, two, one, change. Arms to ears coming all the way back up, stretch lengthen, reach up, and exhale, float your arms by your side. Take a breath, inhale, exhale. Second set, half the time, feet together. Inhale, the arms up. And reverse the grips, the opposite thumb, baby fingers on top. Stretch up, full lungs, touch the ceiling, bend the body towards the right, sway the hips towards the left, beyond your flexibility. Coming down to your edge right away, again, that's only half the time. So squeeze your palms, lift your chin, weight in the heel, left hip forward, right shoulder forward, plug that left shoulder back. Arms to ears, opening up the chest. Now lengthen from the core, hips out more for three. Two, one, change. Inhale, we're going to come back up, stretch up, touch the ceiling, bend the body towards the left, sway your hips towards the right, beyond your flexibility. Again, coming down to your edge right away. Squeezing those palms, lift your chin, weight in the heels, right hip forward, left shoulder forward, plug your right shoulder back. Arms to ears, opening up the chest. Now lengthen from the core, hips out more for three. Two, one, change. Inhale, we're going to come back up. Second backward bend. Weight in the heel. Gently head goes back. Look up, stretch up, touch as you lay down. Arms back with your ears. Weight in the heels. Really send your hips forward. Lower back, middle back, upper back. Total spine backward bending. 
keeping the weight in the heel, keep squeezing your glutes, pressing your hips further forward, lift the back of your heart up, trace that line all the way across the ceiling as you look back. Lean back, fall back, wave back, go back, more back. Inhale with the foot up, suck the belly button in, exhale, fold down you go, soft bend the knees if you need it, relax the belly, walk it out, warm it up, but hopefully now your body is more warmed up, so here we go, second set, bend those knees, scoop up your heels from behind, stepping on all five fingers of each hand, second set, see if you get a better grip, getting your elbows even closer together behind the calf muscle, roll the weight forward in the toes, lift the hips up. Set up on the thighs, chest of the knees, face on the legs below the knees. Inhale, scoop the belly in, lift the hips up higher. Exhale, pull the body down deeper. Go to your edge. Your last three, two, one, change. Inhale, we're going to come back up. Stretch, lengthen, reach up toward the ceiling. Exhale, your arms by your side. Take your breath. Inhale, exhale. Next is our awkward series. Two sets. Right foot step to the right, six inches apart, so your feet look like number 11. Now arms up parallel to the floor. Suck the stomach in and sit down. All the way down. Weight to the heels and the thighs are parallel to the floor. You're sitting down into a deep chair. Keep the belly button drawn in. Chin lifted, chest up, arch your body back. So again, weight to the heels. Arms stay strong. Now once again, everyone lean back. Hold that way back. Go back more back. Inhale for the come up. Arms stay strong. Second part, right up onto those tiptoes. Maximum like a ballerina. Suck the stomach in. Sit down. Just about halfway. In the second part, it's more important to come right up on those tippy toes than it is to sit down in the chair. So really focus on surging your heels further forward. Knees up, chest up, spine straight, arms strong. Come up higher on your toes, sit down deeper in the chair. Shaking is good, you're getting stronger, holding it. Keep breathing for three, two, one, change. Inhale, breathe come up. Third part, the last part, don't give up. Knees together. Lift your heels off the mat, just about a half inch gap. Suck the stomach in, slide down straight spine for your own. Count to 10, nice and slow, easy does it, keep a nice tall, long spine. So think about guiding the tailbone down, heart up, belly in. Lowering to just a hover over your heels, never fully collapsing and resting on your heels. Keep your thighs hugged together, point your knees down, they'll elevate the hips. Once again, stacking the spine, holding here strong and steady for three, two, one. Inhale, we're going to come all the way back up. Feet step together. Exhale, the arms by your side. Rest. Second step. When you're ready, right foot steps right. Same imprint in your towel. Arms up, parallel to the floor. Suck the stomach in and sit down. All the way down. Weight to the heels and the thighs are parallel to the floor. So the awkward series. We're building heat and fire within the body, activating the biggest muscles in your body here, your legs and your glutes. Really engage those muscles, sit down a little bit more, belly in, chin lifted, chest up, arch your body back. Make sure you're not digging in with your toes, even lift your toes up a little bit, suck the sun again, lean back, all back, way back, go back, more back. Inhale, the different back, second part, maximum on those tippy toes. Suck the sun again, Sit down halfway. So once again, second part, second set. Last chance to challenge yourself by coming right up on those tippy toes. So focus on surging your heels further forward. Knees up, chest up, spine straight, arms strong. Come up higher on your toes. Melt down deeper to your edge, holding it here for three, two, one, change. Third part, the last part. Here we go. Knees together. Lift your heels off the mat. Suck the stomach again, slide down, straight spine for your own count ten. Gliding down, nice and slow, tailbone down, heart up, belly in. Hugging your thighs together, hovering over your heels, point your knees down. If your knees are okay today, you can bounce a little bit, the slow and controlled bounces. Hold it here. On your next inhale, come up slower than you want to for five, 
four, three, two, and one. Feet tip together, exhale the arms down. Now let that posture leave your body. Nice deep inhale, closing exhale. Eagle pose, one step, then we take a break. Feet together, inhale the arms up over your head. On your exhale, from the right arm underneath the left. Right arm underneath the left. Pull the elbows down. Feet together, sit down in that chair. Get nice and low. Transfer the weight to the left leg, right leg. Thumbs up and over. Turning and twisting your legs like ropes. One day, tucking your toes behind your calf muscle. Now sit down more, weight in the heels, suck the tongue again, pull the elbows down, arch your body back. Bring your knees, your lower body a little bit towards the right, and your upper body towards the left. Take your hands, wrists, elbows, knees, and ankles all lined up. Sit down even more, keep the weight in the heels, suck the stomach in, pull the elbows down, arch your body back one more time, and change. Feet together, inhale the arms up. Other side, exhale, from that left arm underneath the right, pull the elbows down. Feet together, sit down in that chair. Weight your right leg down, left leg up and over. Turning and twisting your legs like rope. One day, hooking your toes behind the calf muscle. So once again, sit down more. Bend your right knee more. Plug your left hip bone back. Suck the stomach in. Pull the elbows down. Arch your body back. Knees to the left. Upper body towards the right. 14. Knee the joints lined up. Sit down more. Weight in the heel. Suck the stomach in. Pull the elbows down. Arch your body back one more time and change. Feet together. Inhale the arms up. And exhale. Float them down. It's party time, everyone. So those of you at home can take a quick sip of water if you need to. Wipe your sweat. And we'll move on to our balancing series. So when you're ready, I'm going to lean back on your mat, feet together, heels and toes touching with standing forehead to knee. We do two sets here. So now transferring the weight to the left leg, round down, pick up the right foot, all ten fingers interlock a couple of inches below the toes, including the thumbs in the grip. Now, if you can't round down and pick up the foot, just as Krista is doing here, you can lift your right leg up at a 90 degree angle, keeping your heel underneath the knee, flexing the toes back. Bring all of your awareness into the left leg. The left leg is your foundation. It's got to be solid concrete, like the lamp was unbroken, as if you have no left knee. Now, if you're holding on to the right foot and you're ready to kick out, you want to kick your right heel forward towards the front of the room, wherever you are, creating a 90 degree angle so your legs look like an upside down L. If you're kicking out, push your heel forward and flex your toes back. Suck the stomach in, chest proud, now bend your elbows. Maybe the elbows come down the sides of the calf muscles. One day the elbows will dip down below the calf muscles. You can hold steady here. If you want to take it deeper, you tuck the chin toward the chest and you bring the forehead down towards your knee. Wherever you are, just hold it, concentrate, meditate for three, two, one, and change. Release. Nicely done, everyone. Moving on to the other side. So remember, only go as deep as your body allows and perform and technique over depth. All right, so weight in the right leg, round down, pick up that left foot. All ten fingers interlock, couple of inches below the toes, thumbs included in the grip. Bring your arms back, right leg, once again, it's solid, it's concrete. Imagine you're kicking the earth away with the power of that right leg, and the energy will lift you up taller, keeping the belly in. And with your gaze, look forward, sending your energy forward. So if you're holding on to the foot and you're ready to go deeper, kick your left leg forward towards the front here, tilt parallel to the floor, no higher, no lower. Eventually both these will lock, it will look like a capital up to down L. Check in with that standing leg, make sure it's solid. If you're kicking out, push your left heel forward and flex your left toes back. Suck the thumb again, chest proud, bend the elbows. The elbows come down the sides of the calf muscle. Elbows dip down below the calf muscle. Belly button into the spine. Tuck the chin, forehead to the knee. Wherever you are, concentrate, meditate. Once again, hold it steady for three, two, 
one change, release, optional back bend, placing your hands, your hips, lifting your heart up and over, just a little reset here, and moving on to the second set. So remember, if you fall out, no problem, get right back in. Transfer the weight to the left leg, round down, pick up that right foot. All 10 fingers in lock. this one's quick. If you can maintain this, then right leg, kick forward towards the front ear, tilt parallel to the floor. So pull up your edge right away. Heel forward, toes back, suck the stomach in, bend the elbows. Elbows come down beside the calf muscles, elbows below the calf muscles, belly in, chin, tuck, forehead to the knee. Hold it for three, two, one, change. Nice work. Last one, here we go. Weight in the right leg, round down, pick up the left foot. Three, two, one, let's pick it up. If you can maintain this, left leg, kick forward towards the front ear, so it's parallel to the floor. So again, second set, you go to your edge right away. Heel forward, toes back, step the stomach again, bend the elbow. Elbows come down beside the calf muscles, belly in, chin tuck, throat choke, forehead to the knee. Hold it wherever you are for three, two, one, change. Great work, everyone. Again, a little back bend if you need it. And moving on to our standing bow. So once again, two sets, starting with a 60 second stamina set. So pace yourself. As I mentioned, if you fall out, no problem. The most important thing is you get back in and try again. Here we go, feet together, heels and toes touching, right palm up. Without turning that wrist, uh, grab your right ankle on the inside. Feet together, sorry, bring your knees together, point the back toes, raise your left arm up. Chin with the shoulder, skin on skin. So it helps if you bring the left shoulder forward. Draw the right shoulder back in visible behind you, but keep your right hip bone square towards the front here. So create that twist. Stretch up, full lunge, touch the ceiling, and charge your body forward. You're going to touch the mirrors one day. Well, that's what we say here in the hot room, but you're reaching forward, trying to once again touch the front mirror simultaneously. You're kicking back and up towards the ceiling. Now roll that right shoulder back invisible behind the left shoulder. Keep kicking. Roll your right hip bone down, two hips in one line, and keep kicking. Eventually you'll see the top of the toes coming over the top of the head like a hat. Kick up even harder. See the back of the foot. Kick up even harder. See the back of the leg. Reaching the last few seconds, everyone. Stay strong. Kicking and stretching is equal. Opposite. 50 50. The harder you kick, you can balance here forever. So reach forward. Kick back. Kick up. Change. Kick your way out. Take a breath. Steady yourself. Other side, feet together, left palm up. Without turning that wrist, grab that left ankle from the inside. So again, middle finger at the crease of the ankle. Knees together, point the back toes, right arm up, chin with the shoulder. So again, right shoulder forward, draw the left shoulder back. Keep your left hip bone square to the front ear. Stretch up, top to ceiling, charge your body forward. You're going to touch the mirror one day, simultaneously kicking back and up towards the ceiling. Let your kick open your chest towards the left hand side of the room. Holding that left shoulder invisible behind the right shoulder. Keep kicking. Roll that left hip down, two hips in one line. Then you will see the top of the toes coming over the top of the head like a hat. Kick up even harder to the back of the foot. Kick up even harder to the back of the leg, reaching the last two seconds, dig in. Kicking and stretching is equal. Opposite, 50-50, the harder you kick, you can balance here forever. So reach forward, kick back, kick up, change. Kick your way out. Great work, everyone, take your breath. Second set is half the time, let's have some fun. Feet together, right palm up. Now turn that wrist, grab that right ankle from the inside. Knees together, point the back toes, left arm up. Stretch up, touch the ceiling, 
charge your body forward, coming down to your edge right away. So body down more, leg up more, reach your fingertips further forward, more right shoulder invisible, right hip down, toes coming over the top of the head. Kick up harder to the back of the foot, kick up harder to the back of the leg, reaching the last few seconds, dig in. Kicking and stretching is equal. Opposite, 50-50, the harder you can kick, you can balance here forever. Last three, two, one, change. Kick way up, beautiful. Last one, the best one. Here we go, feet together, left palm up. Grab that left ankle coming in the side for two, one. Knees together, point the back toes, right arm up. Bring that left shoulder forward, stretch up, touch the ceiling. Charge your body forth, coming down to your edge. Body down more, leg up more, reach your fingertips further forward, left shoulder invisible, left tip down, toes coming over the top of the head. Kick up harder to the back of the foot, kick up harder to the back of the leg, reaching the last few seconds, everyone. Stay strong, kicking and stretching is equal. Opposite, 50-50, the harder you kick, you can balance here forever to reach for the feet, back feet up, change. Kick your way out. Break the rest of your bones. Move in the back of your mat for balancing stick. Now, this is quick. It's only 10 seconds. Feet together. Inhale the arms up overhead. Shoot the grip. Lift your chin. Weight to the heel. Tips forward. Upper body. Lean back. Right foot. Take a big step forward. Lock both knees. Point the back toe. Stretch up. Body down. Leg up. My whole body parallel to the floor like a capital T. Squeeze in your palm, chin forward, keep your biceps glued to the ears, point the back toe, lock the back knee, roll that left hip bone down, down, stretch and stretch and stretch, change, step back, weight to the heels, hips forward, left foot, take a big step, lock both knees, point the back toe, stretch up, you go down, so body down, leg up until you look at a perfect Half little T, not a broken umbrella. Squeeze your palm, look forward, bicep to the ears, point the back toe, lock the back knee, belly to the spine, roll your right hip bone down for three, two, one, change. Step back, exhale the arm down to your side. Close your eyes if you wish. Take a breath. Inhale and exhale. Just concentrate, meditate on your breath. Get it back under your control. Second set, blink your eyes open, feet together, inhale the arms up, over the head, reverse the grip, opposite thumb, baby finger on top, weight to the heel, tip forward, upper body, lean back, right foot, take a big step, lock both knees, point the back, toe, stretch up. You go down, perfect capital T, squeeze your palms tight, chin forward, point the back toe, lock the back knee, roll your left hip bone down, down, stretch and stretch and stretch, change, step back, last one, weight the heels, it's forward, left foot, take a big step, lock both knees, point the back toe, stretch up, you go down, perfect Capital T, squeeze those palms, bicep to the ears, point the back toe, lock the back knee, roll that right hip bone down, down, stretch and stretch and stretch, change, step back, exhale the arms down towards your sides. Great work, everyone. Quarter turn towards your left, you're on the long side of your mat. If you need a quick sip of water, go for it. And for the record, you guys, it is hot in here. We got the key relaxing. Uh, as we know, technology does not like the heat. My phone already died, it's overheating, so hopefully this recording works. Let's give a second set the leg in, 10 seconds, go to dry. Here we go, feet together, inhale the arms up. Right foot, take a big step, four feet, arms down, parallel left. Now bring your arms back, hips slightly forward. Set the stomach in, swan dive or hinge your hips all the way down. You place your hands on the mat. And just look at your feet, make sure they're straight or slightly pigeon toe the toes in, heels out. Now, you can keep your hands on the mat. If you want to move deeper, you can hook onto your toes, you can grab on the outer edges of your feet, or grab onto your heels. Now, roll the weight forward into the toes, contract your thighs, and press the backs of your thighs towards whatever's behind you, towards the back wall. 
Now draw the shoulders away from the ears, so we have lots of space in the neck. Inhale, scoop the belly in, lift the hips up higher. Exhale, pull the body down deeper. One set only, roll forward more, pull it on, pull higher, pull stronger. Last three, two, one, change. Strong arms coming all the way back. Now stay here, moving right away, looking for Bentley triangle. So right foot turn towards the front here or the front of your mat. Set the stomach again, and then you go down, bending into your right knee, all the way to your thighs, parallel to the floor, knee over top of your ankle, spine straight in the center. Dig deep, all together. Wake and build your arm. So your fingertips should hover between your big second toes and elbows at the knee, turning and twisting, looking up at your left thumb nail. Now keep your left foot flat to the mat, left side contracted. Dig your left hip down as you set the stomach in, stretch up, stomach up, easily stretching down. No weight on the fingertips against the floor, your elbow is at the knee. Don't let the elbow slip down below the knee. Strong core, keep reaching up more. Turn that left hip even further forward. Suck the stomach again, stretch up, and lean that left arm back, opening the chest and change. Inhale up, arm stays strong. Right foot turns in, left foot turns up. Suck the stomach in, and you go down, bending into your left knee. Once again, into your thighs, parallel to the floor, knee over your ankle, spine straight to the center. Dig deep, all together. With all the arms. So fingertips hovering between the big and second of the toe, out of the knee, turning and twisting, looking up at your right thumb nail. Right foot flat to the mat, right thigh contracted. Dig your right hip down as you step the stomach again, stretch up, then we'll smoothly stretching down. No weight, fingertips against the floor. Elbow is at the knee, don't let it slip down, keep reaching out more. Turn your right hip even further forward. Suck the stomach in, stretch up. Now lean that right arm back, opening the chest and change. Inhale up. Inhale the arms up overhead, feet set together. And exhale the arms up by your side. Be still, just breathe. All right, everyone, second set of triangle pose. At the peak of our series, after triangle, we slowly begin to cool the body back down. Feet together, inhale the arms up. Right foot, take a big step. Four feet, arms come down parallel. Arms back, hips towards right foot, turns to face the front of your mat. Set the stomach in, and you go down, bending into your right knee. Now you can bow a couple of times, get down to your edge all together. Windmill the arms. Fingertips hover between the big and second toe, elbow the knee, turning and twisting, looking up. Left foot flat, left thigh contracted. Dig your left hip down as you suck the stomach in, stretch up. Thumbs easily stretching down. No weight on the fingertips against the floor, elbow is at the knee. Now, the help of that right elbow, gently push your knee back more, turn your left hip further forward more. Suck the stomach in, stretch up, bring that left arm back, opening the chest and change. Windmill up. Last one, right foot turns in, left foot turns out. Suck the stomach in, you go down, bending into your left knee. Now, for a couple times if you need to, dig deep all together. Windmill the arm. So again, fingertips hovering between big and second toe, elbow to knee, turning and twisting, looking up. Right foot flat, right thigh contracted. Dig your right hip down as you suck the stomach in, stretch up, thumb up, easily stretching down. No weight on the fingertips against the floor. Elbow is at the knee. With the help of your left elbow, push your left knee back more. Turn your right hip for the floor more. Suck the stomach in, stretch up, bring that right arm back, opening the chest and change. Windmill up. Now heel toe your feet in, a little bit close to the other about three feet distance down between your feet. Inhale the arms up, palms together, just cross your thumb. Lift your toes up and pin it on your heel to face the front of the mat. Spinning your left hip forward, two hips in one line, and your back foot is at a 45 degree angle, two heels in one line. Stretch up, tuck the chin toward the chest, exhale, curl, and round all the way down. Keep the belly squeezed in, eyes open, throat choke, compressing the thyroid. Parathyroid, good for metabolism, good for your digestion. 
So try and stack your back foot down and try and reach your hands beyond your toes, getting that extension of the back body. If you want to test your balance, bring your palms back together into prayer position, keeping the forehead on the knee at all times, throat choke, belly in. Now holding this, try and lock your right knee for three, two, one, change. Arms to ears, coming up, stretch, hold here, Pivot on the heels to the center and pivot down towards the back of your mat, spinning your right hip forward, two heels in one line. Stretch up, touch the ceiling, curl and round all the way down, squeezing your belly in, creating more space to physically round deeper in pose, from that forehead and knee connection, creating that throat choke sensation. Stamp the back foot down. If you like, you can reach your hands further beyond your toes. Maybe return your palms back together into prayer position. Holding this, try and lock your left knee for three, two, one. Change strong leg, belly in, coming up. Pause at the top, don't twist your back. Pivot to face the center, feet stuck together, and exhale the arms down by your side. Great work, everyone. One more standing series. Tree flowing into toe stand before we take it down and rest. All right, so the intention here being the last standing series pose is to bring the heart rate down and really narrow into our focus and our meditation. So transferring the weight to the left leg, pick up the right foot from underneath to so the sole of the foot faces the ceiling. Heel touching with the costume. Now it helps again if you have a mirror in front of you so you can look at your alignment. You want your shoulders straight in one line and your hips nice and square. It's not dipping into your left hip. The energy is up, reaching out through the crown of the head. Now, if you can balance, bring the right hand up, set the chest, hold here. If you can balance without the foot slipping, then only left hand comes up. But if that foot's slipping, no problem, hold the foot the entire time. You can stay here. If you're ready for toe stand today, you can stretch up and hinge from the hips, leading with the heart, placing your hands down on the mat. Come up on the toe, lift the heel off of the mat, bend the knee, and sit down onto your heel. Walking your hands back under your shoulders, your spine is nice and long. Point the right toe towards the door, bring the right knee down, look forward, and try and float. Left hand comes up, right hand comes up. Maybe look into your eyes and hover your head up off of your heel. And change, reverse hands in front, push up nice and slow, control, hold your tree at the top. And tree, release, beautiful, last one, here we go, weight in the right leg, pick up the left foot from underneath, so once again, sole of the foot face and ceiling, looking at your alignment, shoulders straight, hips forwards and square in the front mirror, so again, that right leg is solid and concrete, face is soft and relaxed. Left hand comes up. If you can balance, right hand comes up, namaskar. But again, if that foot slips, keep holding the foot. If you're ready for toe stand, stretch up. And you go down, hinging forward from the hip. Reach your hands down until your hands touch. Come on the toe, lift the heel, sit down onto that heel. So again, walking your hands back. Draw the shoulders back. Stack them over top of the hips. Point the left toe towards the windows, guide your left knee down, look forwards and float. Left hand up, right hand up. Look into your eyes and hover your hip up off of your heel. And change, reverse, push up, slow and control, hold your tree. And tree release. Great work on your hard work and then turn around, relax on your back, savasana. So again, great time. Take a sip of water, wipe your sweat, and take this time to relax. Tuck your shoulder blades back behind you, turn your palms up, let your toes fall open towards the corners of your mat. 
close your eyes if you wish, or keep them open and focus on one spot on the ceiling. Quiet your mind. On your inhale, feel the belly rise. And exhale, feel the belly fall. This is your time. This is the longest posture of the entire class, right here, right now, to completely relax. Recharge. Reap the benefits of your practice so far. Soften your body completely. Stillness, everyone. Deep in your breath now. Belly rise. Belly falls. Bring the awareness back into the room, back in towards your body. On your next inhale, bend your right knee into your chest. You need to release the fingers, all ten fingers, a couple of them slow the knee. Now pull the knee gently out towards the right, and then tuck it in and down towards your shoulder. Now squeeze your shoulder blades together so you can feel them evenly down on the mat. Tuck the chin towards the chest, lengthen the back of the neck. Use the strength of your arms to pull a little bit harder, pull a little bit stronger for three, two, one, chain. Right leg down, left leg up. You need to release your fingers below the knee, pulling the knee out, and then tuck it in and down, avoiding the rib cage. So again, squeeze your shoulder blades, tuck your elbows in towards the body, lengthen the back of the neck, pull harder, pull stronger. For three, two, one, change. Left leg down, and both of your legs up. If you're giving yourself a nice big hug, you want to reach for your elbows over top of your knees. You can't quite grab your elbows, grab your forearms. You want to be as tight, compact package as possible. Pull the knees into the chest and exhale, drive your tailbone down towards the mat. And change both the legs down, palms up, breathe, relax. So next, your straight leg is stood up. If you have any back problems, just turn towards your side and push up. Otherwise, you your knee for the sit-up. Feet together, flex your toes back. Arms up overhead, cross your thumbs, big inhale. Exhale, dive forward. The double exhale at the top as you reach for your toes. Turn around, lay on your belly for our spine strengthening series. So when I teach the hot 60, to get everything in twice, I flow through the spine strengthening series, but again, we do it twice. We flow through, take the Tavasta, and we flow through it all again. So starting with that cobra pose, chin towards, palms flat under the shoulders, hugging the elbows in, and zipping up your legs tight with a cobra tail. Now, before you even move, just contract your thighs and your kneecaps lift. Inhale, breathe in, press the pelvis down, look up and come up. Just peel your upper body off the floor using back strength only, so no arms, everyone. You should be able to hover your hands up off the mat just for a second, so you're not using your arm strength. Now draw the shoulders back, hug the elbows in towards your body, and guide your elbows down towards your hips. Toes together, heels together, hips down, soften your face, chin up, chest up, inhale, up one more time, change, half locust, arms underneath the body, palm facing down. So again, if you're at home, palm down on the mat, so your baby fingers touching side by side, thumbs are on the outside. For the first part, keep your chin forward, 
Relax the left leg, right leg, kick it back and up towards the ceiling, keeping your right hip glued down on your right forearm. So roll your right hip ball down, point your toe, lock your knee, lift your leg up higher. One more time, change, lower that right leg down. Left leg, point the toe, lock the knee, kick the left leg back and up towards the ceiling, keeping that left hip glued down. Back. So roll that left hip bone down, point the toe, lock the knee, extend your leg up one more time, change, lower it down. Now, everyone kiss your towel, so tuck the chin in so your neck is neutralized, very important. You can wiggle your fingertips now further down towards your knees, get more leverage. Inhale, breathe in, press the pelvis down, both of your legs up now. So the bottom weight should come forward into the shoulders. Focus on pulling the shoulders down. Lift your legs up higher. Point your toes, knees together. Legs up higher one more time. Change. Great work. Full focus, everyone. Arms up like airplane wings. Keeping your feet together. Now contract every muscle in your body. The more you contract your muscles, the lighter your body will feel. Inhale, breathe in, press the pelvis down, lift up and come up, whole body lifts up, bring the arms up and the arms back, soften your face, relax your neck, squeeze your shoulder blades together, toes together, heels together, hips down, soften your face, keep breathing, chin up, chest up, inhale, come one more time, change, take a breath, bow pose, last one, bend your knees, and grab onto your feet from the outside, like where your shoe laces would be. Now loop the shoulders back. Inhale, breathe in, press the pelvis down. Lift up and come up. Come up and kick up. Roll forward like a wheel. Chin up and chest up. Looking up towards the ceiling. Where the eyes go, your body follows. Soften your face. Point your toes. Don't let the knees flare up. Hug the knees in. Kick harder. Kick stronger for three. Two, one, change. Feet down, arms down. Look towards the right hand side of the room. Left ear down and just relax. So another form of savasana here on your belly. So breathe deeply on your inhale. Feel your back body expand. Exhale, melt deeper into the earth. Second step from the top, back to your cobra pose, everyone. Chin forward, palms flat on the shoulders, hug the elbows in, zipping up your legs. Inhale, breathe in, press the pelvis down, look up and come up. So second step, lift up right away to your edge. Maybe lift those hands up for a second. Shoulders back, elbows in, elbows down. Toes together, heels together, hips down, chin up, chest up. Inhale, up one more time. Change, half locust, arms underneath the body, palms down. Chin forwards, relax the left leg, right leg, kick it back and up towards the ceiling, keeping that right hip glued down flat, point the toe, lock the knee, leg up higher, one more time, chain, left leg, point the toe, lock the knee, kick the left leg back and up towards the ceiling, keeping that left hip glued down flat, point your toe, lock your knee, leg up higher, one more time, change, kiss the towel, zipping up your legs, Inhale, breathe in, press the pelvis down, look up and come up, both of your legs up, sorry, you're pressing your uh, lips down to the earth, you're going to bring the shoulders down, keep those legs together, toes together, hips down, legs up higher, one more time, change, great work, full locust, arms up like airplane wings, almost there, now listen to my words on this one. Inhale, breathe in, press the pelvis down, look up and come up, whole body lift up, so lift up right to your edge, arms up, arms back, soften your face, relax your neck, squeeze your shoulder blades together, toes together, heels together, hips down, chin up, chest up, inhale, up one more time, stay here, bend your knees and grab onto your feet, right away to bow pose, use that grip to kick your legs up and roll forward, so keep rolling forward, keep pulling your toes over top of the head, hug those knees in, soften your face, look up, pour it on, kick harder, kick stronger for three, two, one, change, feet down, arms down, looking towards the left, right ear down, spine chicken and series, successfully completed, great work everyone, take a couple more, deep breaths,
And when you're ready, moving on, shame forth, hands and the shoulders, push your body up. And coming all the way forward to the top of that for fixed firm. So again, good time for a quick sip of water. So meeting me at the top of your mat when you're ready. You want to bring the knees together, but open up the feet wide enough to sit your hips between your heels. If this really hurts, you can open your knees up wider, but the goal is one day sitting your hips between your heels with your knees together. If you're ready to go deeper, hands behind you, draw the shoulders back, bring one elbow down at a time. So bring that right elbow down, left elbow down, leaning back, start to drop the head back. So eventually, the top of the head touches down, roll onto the back of the head, tucking the chin towards the chest. If you're down, reaching the arms up over your head, grabbing onto your elbow, and then gently draw your elbow towards the wall behind you to get that extra inch of space in your chest, helping to open up all the lymph nodes under your arm, stimulating the flow of the lymphatic system. Now, chin tuck. Now, it's still a back bend. So keep squeezing your knees together, keep pressing your hips down, and arching your chest up. And think about bringing the tops of the shoulder blades closer towards your hips. And change, slowly reversing out, pressing to your elbows, into your palms. I'm going to flush it out, moving to down dog. So bring your hands in front of you. Tuck the toes and lift your hips up. So this is in uh, replace of Savasana here. So we've kind of got a Savasana uh, differently in our body, flushing out our hips, thighs, knees, ankles, feet, and toes. And my favorite part is we're also getting the added benefits of an inversion here, the head below the heart. All right, so when you're ready, taking it down now for half tortoise. So bend your knees, knees and feet together, sitting on your heels. Inhale the arms up overhead. Now just palms together, crossing your thumbs. Stretch up, tap to ceiling, and you go down. Keep your core nice and tight all the way down. You want to bring your chin forward. So one day, the very tip of your nose will lightly just kiss your towel. You want to squeeze your palms together. Now press the blade of your baby finger into the mat. And use that as leverage to help push your hips deeper down onto your heel. So it's like a human tug of war. The intention here is to lengthen out your back body in opposite directions. So use your breath. Inhale, stretch further forward. Exhale, push your hips further back. So again, inhale, stretch forward. Exhale, stretch back, stretch, and stretch, and stretch. Now tight core, arms to the ears, coming all the way back up, stretch, lengthen, reach up, and exhale, float the arms by your side. Take a breath, inhale, exhale, camel pose. Two sets of camel, everyone. So first step, standing up on your knees, and make sure your knees are aligned underneath your hips. Have your hands on your hips like you're doing with your back pocket. Loop the shoulders back and hug the elbows in. Squeeze your glutes. Press your hips forward. Lift your heart up and gently start to lean your body back. Hands on your hips, supporting your lower back. Keep your face off and keep breathing. You can stay here. If you want to go deeper, reach one hand down at a time for your heel. Thumbs on the outside, fingers on the inside. Eyes open, breathing normal for the nose. Now stomach, legs, hips, everything keep pushing further forward, more towards the front here. Now spiral your shoulders out for that tremendous opening in your chest, in your heart, in your lungs. Last five, four, three, two, and one, hands on the hips, head up last, sit your hips down and just pause here, be still. Some mudras, you can turn your palms up, signifying receiving energy. Or my favorite here is to place your hands over your heart. So left hand over your heart, right hand over your left hand, and just connect. 
as you feel your heartbeat. A beautiful reminder that each day is a precious gift. Inhale. Exhale. Lift your eyes open. Second set of camel pose. Standing up on your knees. So, if you want to go a little bit deeper, you can open your knees up slightly wider than your feet, maybe 8 to 10 inches apart. Hands to your hips, loop the shoulders back, elbows in, squeeze your glutes, press your hips forward, lift up, and gently, again, drop the head back as you lean deeper. If you're ready, one hand down in time through your heels. Now, you don't want to sink into the heels. The energy is forward to the hips and up to the back of the heart. So continuously pressing your hips forward, continuously lifting your heart up. Eventually your hips surpass your knees. Now find stillness, find comfort. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Change hands in the hips, head up left, sit your hips down. And then move in with intention and grace. Turn around, relax on your back. Savasana. So three, two, one, and be still. So camel to the deepest back bend of the series. Known as the heart of our series, opening up our heart center, our heart chakra. So completely normal to feel sick, dizzy, nauseous maybe some emotions coming up for you and just let them come, let them leave your body. Any tension, any stress, anything at all you're holding on to, allow it to leave your body with your breath. Inhale, exhale, let it go. Feet together, toes back, arms up, cross your thumbs, big inhale, exhale, dive forward, release for the toes, exhale to the top. All right, moving into rabbit pose. So last little leg of the race, we move into rabbit and we flow now all the way into our final spine twist. So for rabbit sitting on your heels, if you have a towel, wrap it over your heels so you get a nice dry grip, you get some traction there, you're, gonna, you're not going to slip with your sweat. Now squeeze the belly in, tuck the chin, exhale, curl and round all the way down. Squeezing the belly in into the top of the head, touches down the mat. And then pull on your heels and lift your hips up like you're rolling forward like a wheel. Draw the shoulders away from the ear. So again, lots of space in the neck and you feel the stretch in your upper back. Keep squeezing the belly in. Let your arms be straight. Your arms are like ropes. So the strength is all in the grip that you have on your heels. A strong grip. Pull on the heel. Lift the hips up. Roll forward. Last three, two, one. Change. Hips down slowly. Curl up really nice and slow. Draw those shoulders back. Head up. Very loud. Now, just place your hands towards one side, swivel your feet out from underneath you and sit down on your bum. Extend your right leg out cornerwise, left sole foot to the right inner thigh. Flexing your right toes back, inhale the arms up, interlace the fingers, stretch up, turn towards the right, exhale, you go down, belly to the spine, chin to chest, forehead on the knees. So again, we've got that compression pose. Hug the elbows in, frame your calf muscles, and roll down in towards the left, bring the left elbow down, left shoulder down, keeping the right toes flexed back. Let's try and slide your right heel further away from you, keeping the forehead on the knee. Try and lock that right knee now for three, two, one, change. Strong core coming up and switch those legs. Left leg out, right leg in. Inhale, stretch up, turn to the left, exhale, you go down, belt to the spine, to the chest, forehead on, knees again, squeezing, rounding, hug the elbows in, frame that left calf muscle, roll down and in towards the right, 
So right knee down, right hip down, right shoulder down, right elbow down. Throat choke, slide your left heel toward the board, flex your left toes back, try and lock your knee for three, two, one, change, spine straight coming up. Have both of your legs out in front of you, make sure there's nothing behind you, lay down your back and then let us sit up. Dive forward, reach for the toes, double exhale at the top. Beautiful. Now my lovely ladies are super flexible. But if you need to, you can bend the knees in order to hook onto your toes with your middle and index finger. So bend the knees or straighten them and shimmy your hips back and forth so your knees will lock. One day your heels will even lift up off the mat. Now you want to look forward. Take an inhale and exhale. Pull the body forwards first and then down. Keep a nice straight, long spine. So we're not curling and collapsing, we're elongating and lengthening. So draw the shoulders back, elbows in, keep flexing your toes back towards the base. Pour it on, go to your edge, pull harder, pull stronger. For three, two, one, change. Release the toes. Now tense your hands behind you and just draw the shoulders back. Open your chest, reset. Let that feel good. Coming back to center, first final spine twist. So staying on your mat as you are, you can keep your left leg straight if you like and bring the right leg up and over top of the left knee corner. If you wish, you can bend the left knee in. Now if you bend the knee in, just make sure you're not sitting on your left heel. You need to be able to roll the right hip bone down. Now right hand behind you and face the spine, left arm stretch up and then over, placing your elbow on the outer edge of your right knee. You can keep your left hand in the air or again reach it down and grab onto your left knee. Now inhale, step the belly in, stretch up tall, exhale, turning and twisting, looking over the right shoulder, continuously guiding that right shoulder back. You can use the support of your right hand, push the earth away, stretch up taller, exhale, turn and twist to need to be for my friends at home. You can take a bind here, optional, interlacing your hands behind your back. Last few seconds here, inhale, suck the belly in, stretch up taller, exhale, twist and twist and twist. Change, gently unravel and moving to the other side. So extend the right leg up in front of you, left leg comes up and over, off to keep leg straight or fold it in. Again, roll your left hip bone down, left hand behind you, right arm stretch up and over, using your elbow to push your left knee away. As you inhale, suck the belly and stretch up, exhale, turning and twisting, looking over the left shoulder, guiding that left shoulder back. Inhale, suck the belly in, stretch up taller, exhale, twist, and twist, and twist, change, and then spin around, relax on your back, Savasana, three, two, and one. Excellent work, everyone. One more sit up, and then our final breathing exercise. Here we go, feet together, toes back, arms up, overhead, cross your thumbs, big inhale, exhale, dive forward, reach for the toes, double exhale at the top. All right, facing um, forwards on your mat. So traditionally, we sit down, it's kind of Japanese style, knees and feet together. If this is really uncomfortable, you can sit cross-legged. Now this is called breath of fire. It's a very powerful breathing exercise. We create heat. So any last bit of tension, any stress, anything you're still holding on to, we create heat, we burn it, we let it leave our bodies with our breath. So in the 60 minute class, we do one set. You'll hear me clap. We start slow. We get faster and we get faster one more time. So keep in mind, we exhale only to the mouth. You want to use your belly to snap your belly, pushing the air out. Exhale only through your mouth. All right, so hands in your thighs, everyone. Shoulders back. Soften your belly. Soften your face. Take a nice deep inhale. Exhale, let it go. Little breath. Let's begin. So exhale, 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 exhale. Come on, stronger.
them work, everyone. Relax on your back. Savasana. So again, sip your water if you need to. I recommend staying here in Savasana for a minimum of five minutes to let your body completely relax and restore. Don't forget to drink lots of water and continue on with clear eyes, clear mind, a beautiful new beginning to your day, to your week, to your life. Thank you once again, those of you at home joining in on our hot 60 practice. And big thank you to Krista and Brianna and our cameraman Dan here live from Santosha Yoga. Thank you everyone. <laughs>